Welcome, welcome back in, on Cisco. In this video clip, we're going to use uh, some trigonometric identity, uh, the cyclical and Pythagorean identity, to uh, find more trigonometric function. Okay, so these are the uh, identity we're going to use uh, in this uh, presentation: tangent identity, sine over cosine, reciprocal. Uh, you see them here, a, a lot of them, right? Uh, I'm not going to use them in this video clip, and we have also. The one that we're going to use in this video clip, the Pythagorean identity, and we have two more, but we are not going to use them in this video clip. <coughs> <coughs> so let's see this problem 17. This one, what is given is given the sine. We need to find the cosine and the tangent. Yeah. So we're going to start from sine square plus cosine square equals 1. And in this one, we're going to replace sine of 0.5. And we're going to get 0.25, right? 0.5 squared is 0.25 plus cosine squared equals 1. Yeah. Okay. If we are to solve for cosine here, we're going to need to subtract 0.25. So we're going to end up with cosine squared equals 0.75. Now, of course, in order, in order to find the cosine, we need to take the square root. So we're going to put a plus and minus. Okay, and then let's use a calculator to calculate square root of 0.75. Right. And that will be 0.86. And now it's very important to look to this part of the problem. First part. Since we know this is the angle in the first quadrant, this is the answer. We don't need a minus sign anymore. So now if we have the cosine, we can go and find the tangent. Because the tangent of that I use x, tangent of x will be nothing else than sine of x over cosine of x. So in this case, we get... Uh, 0.5, which is was given to us, right? Over 0.86. And that will be 0.58. And it's going to be a positive value, right? Both of them, sine and cosine, are positive. So we did find also the tangent. Pause this video clip and try number 18. If you end up with these two results, cosine of theta equals square root of 7 over 4 and tangent of theta equals 3 square root of 7 over 7, then you do a wonderful job. Of course, you can change uh, all these uh, fraction in decimal if you think it helps you in a better way. Uh, what about this uh, number 18 and 19, 19 and 20? Uh, and this one, 
we're gonna look to seven quadrants. So the math is the same, you'll see it. I'm gonna do the same uh, math. And by the way, this one, let's change it back to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 here. Okay, the math is the same, right? Uh, we're gonna end up with uh, sine square, right? Plus cosine square equals one and we already did this math here and we end up with cosine equal cosine of theta equals plus or minus square root of uh, right here right 0 0.75 0 0.75 so the math is the same right the only difference now instead of taking the positive one we're going to take the negative solution negative 0.86 why? Because now we have this second quadrant. In the second quadrant, if you remember, the cosine is negative. Very important. And the tangent is going to be also negative in this moment, because we're going to have sine over cosine. The cosine is 0.5, and uh, the sine is, co uh, is 0.5, and the cosine is negative, right? 86. So again, we're gonna get negative 0.58. So this information here is crucial. Second quadrant. The same story for the number 20. We're gonna end up with cosine of that angle being negative negative square root of 7 over 4. Negative square root of 7 over 4. Right? Because it is in second one. And the same thing for tangent now. Tangent will be negative. It is in second quadrant. <coughs> it is going to be negative. negative yeah 3 square root of 7 over 7 yeah so very important to read the problem and see what quadrant you are in and based on that uh, quadrant you're going to decide the sine and the cosine sine if you enjoy this video please don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on c square for more math video clips. Thank you.